All right, it is later. Not really that much later. It's like a few seconds later, honestly. We're going straight into the Street Fighter Six trailer, which I have like for all these trailers, I haven't seen any gameplay, nothing or anything on it. All I know was the title. I think it's like I, all I know is the title and the thumbnail. So, but it's clear it's Terry Go the Terry Bogar gameplay trailer. So let's check this out. This is gonna be fun. I'm still on a journey. Go get some. Traveling to new places, experiencing new things, meeting new faces, having good fights. Fight, drink, eat, sleep, repeat. Seriously, it's a good life. I'll pick up the check. What check, bro? There's no check. This is a good looking stage. Come on, get ready. Hey, come on, come on. Come on, Oh, that's clean. That's clean. Is that the mark of the work hit, right? Like? <laughs> yeah, that's clean. Oh, no. Look <laughs> like hold on. Okay, that's hard as fuck. What the hell? Okay. All right, Terry. All right, Terry. Why did you have like one of the coolest trailers? Uh, this still pisses me off right here. I don't know why she's the last character to come out. That angers my goddamn soul. But um, no, like that's insane for a trailer. Wow. I'm not gonna lie. I do like. I like. I never really played a lot of Phil Fury games. I played Mark of the Wolf. I don't know which one that was though. I don't know which bitch um, game that was in the SNK series. I don't know exactly which one that was, but that's the one I played. But I will say that I like Japanese Terry's voice more. English Terry ain't bad. I'm just so used to Japanese Terry hearing Japanese Terry's voice. That's all it is. But I don't know. I don't know how to play his um his level three with his critical art. I don't know how they do these trailers for Street Fighter because sometimes they show the critical art in the trailer and don't show the level three, and sometimes they show the level three and not the critical art. But I don't know how I feel about the level three slash critical art in this version. I kind of like the uh, the way that Smash Bros did it with uh, being like a variation of you know Power Geyser and Buster Wolf and all his like power dunk and all that. It just looked cooler to me. But this isn't that bad, you know. Super, it's still cool. But this trailer overall, solid as fuck. I love that. Let's let's get to Monster Hunter. Let's get to Monster Hunter. All right, right on over here to Monster Hunter. And I might turn this down a little bit because I don't know if it's like overlayering me too much when I'm trying to speak a little bit into this, but let's do the monster in the trailer. I have no idea what this trailer is about at all. I didn't even read the title. My word. Is this a Lala Barina Flores? What? what? Oh, that voice sounds smooth. It must be near its nest. Binti, is that you? No, I'm just kidding. Benny. I'm sorry. Ew, no, fuck no. Okay, Monster, you had everything in your world you could have picked as a monster. You chose a freak ass fighter? Nah. Cool. That's gross. That is so gross. The armor probably go crazy though. Let's go, Doorblade. It don't seem like you're hitting anything, but I'm pretty sure you are hitting. 
We could do a lot worse for an interim camp. Once your business here is concluded, you should find shelter. The sands come alive this time of year, like a wild beast bristling with lightning. From the look of it, that must be this region's apex predator. Yeah, I don't know what the hell I did there. Understood. Oh, you can do for sure this thing has a shock at that. What the fuck is that? Bunkers? Oh my god, they talk? Woo! I mean, they always talk, but like, their voice? Then the logo comes up. You watch enough game trailers, you get an idea when the logo's gonna show up. Oh, we cooking up. This ass pizza meat. That's prime ribs right there, right? So tasty. <laughs> That's awesome. Which list? This game better be crossplay, and it better be cross progression. Capcom, I'm not playing with y'all. That's the reason why. Small tangent. I'm gonna rant real quick. I'm sorry. I'm gonna rant. If you want to leave now, you can leave because there's no more trailers after this Capcom one. There's no more Capcom games, I'm saying. But I digress. The problem with Rise in the world is the fact that those games are not cross-play or cross-progression. Even if it was just cross-progression, that'd be all right. Because nobody wants to start over from the ground zero to play with their friend who just got the game and they got it on a different console they can't play them with. That, that's the that's the real kicker. Cross progression is the real kicker, and for me at least, I can deal with no crossplay. I don't mind having to buy a game again. Like that's not too much of a detriment for me. Granted, I can see it can be a problem for other people, but my problem is cross progression, especially for a game as grindy as Monster Hunter. I would like for my items and my progress to move over to different systems with me. That's just me though. But I digress. Amazing trailers. Can't wait to get the DLC for Street Fighter and can't wait to get Monster Hunter um, Wilds. I own Rise, I own World. And my homie Mirror VAK Spanish bought me the DLC for Rise as well. So looking forward to these games. I'll see you guys later.